how do we live as men in the world? How do we live as chaste men? What does God really want for us? For 10 years I worked for DreamWorks Animation in their visual effects department and only recently came to uh, work for Google. I worked on fire and explosions and clouds, on hair, and I also worked on bellies. My job is to you know, look at the math that say goes into, well how do you make a bulbous looking belly for a character like Poe in Kung Fu Panda? And then we try to make those mathy kind of tools more accessible to the artist. I'm a geek, I love taking things apart. That's one of my passions. So when I want to relax after a long day at work, I'll be taking something apart. My last year or two at DreamWorks, there were some people starting up a Bible study. And I found out that there were Bible studies going on in a number of the other studios, like Warner Brothers and Sony and Universal. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. So it was neat even just to have a forum where you could meet other Christians and talk about your faith. I would say there's two main ways that I put my faith into action at my work. The first one is to simply do good work. If you're doing something as seemingly unrelated to the faith as something like a math integral, You'd say, well, how do I put God into that? Do I, do I use Christian characters when I'm writing out the integral? Well, no, probably not. Just do it like everyone else does, but do a really good job at it. Love it, enjoy it. The other most important way, I think, of living my faith is to bring Christ into the workplace. In your own personal holiness, character, virtue, at the very least, we hope that Christ exudes through our character, and so we're called to uh, be so close to Christ that we can't escape exuding Him uh, to those around us. Hopefully the world will see that. I'm originally from Canada, from a city called Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I grew up, I would say, in a culturally Catholic family. It was never anything deeply personal to me. It wasn't until my first year of university that I got involved with a group called Catholic Christian Outreach. One of their staff members challenged me. They said, hey, how about making a choice to give everything to God, give everything to Jesus? And at the time, that seemed like a really scary thing to me because I said, oh, what if God makes me become a priest or something like that? And so I did. I basically said, hey, Jesus, I'm going to give you everything. Probably the thing that was most important and formative in that was having other really strong men of God to imitate. I run a men's group called Bibles and Brew. Bibles and Brew is a bi-weekly men's fellowship group. We drink beer responsibly as we discuss and read theology. We meet in my living room here once every two weeks. We split our time between focusing on basic catechetics, basics of the faith, and then also masculine issues, so like leadership, fatherhood, purity, all those kinds of things. And then we'll take time to pray together, pray for our needs. It's, it's a community too to help support each other in our, in our growth of virtue. There's nothing more important and nothing that will be more rewarding than finding a way to share Christ with those around you.